Bro. All of his co-workers heck? were gone. What could it mean? What the Stanley heck? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What else is there? New, new content. All right. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. What could it be? Last time it wasn't that new. Okay, back to the elevator. Interesting. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Yeah. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Ah. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a yeah, fully fledged that's a good sequel. Idea. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Uh, Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising <laughs> potential. <laughs> the story, the state of, oh, that's hilarious. Love that. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Okay. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. All right. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay, okay. Gosh, okay. New features. Expo hall. Very down. Okay. Wow. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most there obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Ah. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget yep. whoever you are, and simply become a yeah, person I'm not, named I'm Jim. Not Lego Bricks I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, right. sleeping and waking Ugh. as Jim, yeah, falling okay. in love and being right, heartbroken Jim. as Jim, seizing Ugh. all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Yeah, Jim. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Absolutely. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you see what a thrill, except what a rush. Name. That was you. Guys, my the name. button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even yeah, harder the second time. Go, if works. this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. All I'm right, too yeah, emotionally yeah, yeah. drained course, from course. all of this personal validation.
Gotta leave that for the second game, of course. Yep, yep, yep. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save what me the work the of finishing this feature. What the is that? Whole new op Oh, look at that carpet. Oh, yeah. Red is the new orange. The new updated ray trace more of the same in a good way. <laughs> Collectibles. Yeah, let's go collectibles first. You can find them, you can find them, you can find them. What ah, is that? Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely I'll tragic. I'll take that trophy. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test trophy that got left in the game on accident? Yeah. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the trophy. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the trophy will be given to you. It's as simple as... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the trophy is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes wow. of ravenous fans all over the world I who have been uproariously demanding Come this feature. On. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Okay. Okay. I trust you. What else? You. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? The infinite hole. Oh, wait, 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 what's this? What's this? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Uh, it says Happy 12th Birthday Step Niece. I would rather get uh, one someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. You gotta be joking me. Alright. No! Or actually, maybe I should have gone with. No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Never did the infinite hole. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's okay. never been done before in a video game. Okay, tell this me. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's okay. right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Well? You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Oh now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Ah. I see. Oh. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, you then. you got to be kidding me. I wanted to jump! Oh, we have merch? This t-shirt is the best new feature. The end is never the end again. 
to reassurance bucket oh hex yeah we're doing reassurance bucket now a common complaint of the Stanley parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless uh, despair in those who played where's it. the bucket well I am happy to say that after much consideration I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game it's the Stanley parable reassurance bucket you see, Stanley, any time oh, you're holding okay, the bucket, okay, a sense cool. of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, let it's me a have much it. more convenient solution for me. Give me the bucket. Actually, redesigning Give the game the to be less uncomfortable. Give me the bucket. Can you imagine bucket. what a pain in the? I would want be? that. Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. I Come want on. it. Give it a try. Give me. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And I have fact, a bucket. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Thank you. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All Apparently. this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Wait. Oh, I can leave with the bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? This is that the really most should be an bucket. award if it isn't already. What's this? An epilogue, epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the um. Uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Where are we? What's that? Infinite hole, free trophy, settings, world champion. What? Oh, exit. There we go. Ah, there it is. Here we go. The exit. What the frick All right. are that? Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready yes, to move on now? I have my bucket. I think I'm good. Ugh. Oh, that I, that's kind of cool. Beautiful. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yes, so this is much circle. better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted uh -huh. fans to love it. No matter yeah. how good yeah, these gags course. are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Of course, Wait. yeah. Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. 
with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Do I go into the... Ah! Whoa! 